Hey everyone, it's the 21st of May and it's the four day countdown for leaving Sao Paulo and heading to New York. Um, traumatized by the thought of leaving, but happy that I managed to achieve everything that I wanted and more. And I'm going to try to cram as much fun into the next four days as possible. I've just come back from a great trip to Rio de Janeiro and Curitiba. And in Rio, I was interviewing uh, two 10-year-old kids in a formal interview scenario for the documentary. Um, we had a uh, professional director and cameraman organized there. We shot in a kid's playground in Ipanema in Rio, and then we shot on the beach, the famous beach of Ipanema with the buildings and the mountains in the background. And uh, we interviewed the kids, and they, um, we also interviewed, or they interviewed me, um, about the project and my time in, in Brazil. Um, the kids are great. We showed them the 5.1, the paper game that's being tested at the moment in Sao Paulo, um, just to see what they thought. And they had some great comments. And they, they said they thought it was really cool. And we got them to shoot some uh, game content with their own mobile phones as an example uh, of how the online game that we're now designing is going to could be with little clips of kids doing their own um, stories and comments about what they love and what they hate about their city. Um, it, it's uh, I'm going to edit it into a little DVD to take to New York, so um, should be good. I'm excited about that. Footage came out great, uh, and then I went to Curitiba and uh, spent the evening with the niece of the mayor of Curitiba in the hope that he would I would be able to get connected to Jamie Lerner, who is um, a big in, uh, part of the game content for the paper game, the 5.1, we call it, version 5.1. Um, he, uh, Jamie Lona, was the mayor of Curitiba many years ago and did some uh, incredible transformations there. And now Curitiba and Vancouver are pretty much the two um, less, least polluting per capita cities uh, in the world, closely followed by Munich and um, Bogota. And uh, there's another 83 countries which use the system uh, a, a series, a system of a series of city improvements that were created in Curitiba. So it was a great place to visit. If any of you saw the YouTube video that we did ages ago um, with the kids um, putting up uh, statements about um, how they were being empowered to think about the future, um, in that we used the template, a picture of a glass house, and I put the little kids' faces in there. Anyway, that that's uh, a shot from Curitiba, and I went and visited the place, and um, it felt... Good to actually be there, the whole thing coming together. So there I was talking with the mayor's niece um, and uh, about Jamie Lerner, and uh, it transpired that, in fact, her uncle, the current mayor, is uh, enemies of Jamie Lerner. So it could be a little difficult, but she's going to see what she can do to connect me with him. Um, I, I, they said they think he now lives in New York um, due to some political problems. <clears throat> so uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll be able to pursue that one later on down the track. Um, anyway, it was a great trip, great visit. It's good to see uh, Curitiba is an example of a really smart city and uh, that's actually quite boring. And um, it's very important in our project that the, the ideas for cities are fun and that, that cities aren't supposed to be perfectly rationalized to produce zero carbon emissions. They're, they, they, they need, it won't work, they won't work, this kind of revolution won't work unless they're still kind of chaotic and interesting and messy and vital. So it's important for me to visit these places, um, kind of the opposite to Sao Paulo, which is absolutely uh, chaotic and messy. So um, that pretty much brings us, brings us up to date. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to, I give myself the deadline to finish the uh, copy for the new website which is the other thing that I've been doing for the last three days, struggling with having this one conversation with Therese in Australia, the project producer, back and forth, and we, I throw up, we're trying to create a mission statement. So I throw up on her email a couple of sentences, and then she comes back with, uh, yeah, I like that, but what about this? And then I say, okay, well, I like that, what about this? We've been brainstorming for about two weeks, um, just trying to come up with one phrase, which is our mission statement. And we're getting very close. Um, it's, we, we know exactly what we want to do, but it's very difficult to get that into one very neat and practical sentence. But that's the goal, and as I say, we're getting close. Tomorrow I'm going to finish it, uh, along with all the other web copy uh, for the new blog. And um, I think having the mission statement, it's, it's really good. It kind of gives you a focus. It's, it's kind of exciting in a geeky sort of way. Um, but uh, it's something essential that I'm going to need to take to New York as well. So that wraps it up for this vlog, and um, wish me luck enjoying my last few days uh, in Sao Paulo. Mixture of excitement and great.
great sadness, and I can't wait to come back. All right, see ya. <laughs>